Today in this video, we'll be using a fun Wi-Fi automated cracker which can get your Wi-Fi password using a three-way handshake. Now we can use a terminal to do this but that process is way too tedious and with this we can do it in a click of a button and within five seconds. Okay, we'll be, we are going to be using a word list to do this and we are going to be figuring out your Wi-Fi password using the RockQ way. Let's get started. For this video, like most of my videos, you will be needing a Kali Linux system fired up. You can also do this in a Linux or Mac, but uh, you will be needing Fern installed inside of it. Okay, so it's better to use Kali Linux because most of the tools that we use in these videos are already pre-installed, so you don't have to do any other work. Here I have my system fired up. This is a virtual machine running on VMware. If you want to know more about virtual machines, just check out the link in the description below and you can install your own Kali Linux machine. All right, so here we'll be heading on to the terminal. And uh, in this, we'll be going on the phone Wi-Fi cracker. If you don't want to go through the terminal, you can just press command or alt if you're on Windows and type the phone Wi-Fi cracker right here. Okay, so it'll need your password to go in and once it's all set up, it'll fire up fun. So for this video, you'll be also needing an alpha network wireless adapter. You can use any wireless adapter that supports monitor mode. And if you are into ethical hacking and cybersecurity, I believe you may have one of these at home. All right, so uh, to do this, you will need monitor mode. Now monitor mode is basically something that your Wi-Fi uh, network does not know that you're on the Wi-Fi network and you can perform many kind of reconnaissance on the network and you can do the odd thing and capturing handshakes and all that. I'll explain everything once we go through the video. So here I'll need my alpha network adapter connected. So let me, okay. So once we have that, we can move on to the NAT network. So when you are on a virtual machine, it always uses a NAT network. That is basically, it is getting the Wi-Fi network from your host system, which is Mac for me in this case. All right, so I'll connect this to the Linux system and now it has a source in which it can connect to any nearby Wi-Fi network. So earlier it was dependent on my Mac machine to get the internet. Now it has an own Wi-Fi network. It has its own Wi-Fi adapter, which can connect to any independent Wi-Fi. All right, so as you can see right here, we have an option uh, to connect to the Wi-Fi. I can just refresh this and we can get an interface, which is WLAN zero. If you want to get your interface, you can just go on to the terminal and type ifconfig. That's the basic command to get all your internet. All right. So as you can see, my WLAN zero is already on monitor mode, right? So as you can see, monitor mode enabled on WLAN zero Mohan. So it won't show right here. It will just show ethernet and the loopback address. Fern does all the work for you and you don't have to do much in this case. Now you can just go and scan for access points, which will go and scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks. And this does take some time. If you go on the key database, we have virus detected. Okay, so I can just show that. Yeah, so as you can see, WPA, we have got 28 detected. So generally Wi-Fi networks these days do use WPA. They are supported in WPA and just, just a disclaimer, I'm doing this on my own Wi-Fi network and doing this any, and doing this to someone else's Wi-Fi network or to harm anybody is illegal. All right, so be sure you own the device that you're using and don't do it to harm anyone or hurt anyone else. So my network name is virus detected right here. So as you can see, it is displaying all the information about my network, what the BSS ID is, the channel, the power, and the encryption. So we only need the encryption in this case because uh, phone can only detect WEP and WPA networks. All right. So this is the SSID. We want a regular attack. Now let me explain what is happening right here. My network adapter will go to the Wi-Fi and it will send a deauth packet. A deauth packet is something which can disconnect all other devices on around you. Now there is some other attacks which we can use by different tools which can do a sole deauth attack which can just disconnect everything that is from the Wi-Fi network and it's really easy to do so. But as we need the password and we don't need to just disconnect everyone, we'll disconnect it for just two seconds. And there is a feature in all of our modern day devices 
which once we get disconnected from the network, it tries to reconnect to the same network, right? So that reconnection is called a handshake, right? So just think of it this way, the phone or any of your devices is getting a connection or a handshake connection to the router. That connection is captured via a CAP file and that is used to figure out your password. So once we're doing this in the terminal, it'll take a lot of time and we have to do all of these steps individually. Like we first have to send the dauth packet, then we have to capture the handshake uh, using Wireshark and there is a lot of complications involved. But once you're using Fern, it can do it automatically for you and it'll just tell you when it did what. All right, so as, as I have my Wi-Fi network selected, you will need a word list in this case. A word list is something that can that has a ton of passwords and that will try to guess or brute force all those passwords into the Wi-Fi network. Now, most of the times this works and sometimes it does not work. Now, the RockU word list, as you can see right here, is a word list that uh, was generated when a company named RockU, which was a social media company, got hacked. 32 million user passwords were leaked and uh, it, it happened somewhere in 2008. So the hacker made the word list that he used to brute force into that network public and it's free to use and it already comes pre-installed in Carl Linux. So if I go into my terminal right here, I can cat that word list and it has somewhere around millions and millions of password which can, you know, guess your Wi-Fi password. Okay, so I'll just go on cat if you don't know that's a just a command to list everything that is there in the file and i have it right here so as you can see it has millions of passwords i'm just going to stop it before my computer has a heart attack all right if you want this word list you can find it in the word list section of the carl linux page if you go on list i'll go back yeah this is just basic linux commands yeah, user slash share slash word list. Okay. And if you just list everything, you will find the rock you zipped word list right here. So I just unzipped it onto my desktop and I selected it right here. You can just browse it and you can select whatever word list you would like. Okay. So yeah, I have the Mac address right here. And once we are all done, I just have to press attack. Why does it already exist? I need to, yes, update it. So it is first probing the access point. It is finding the access point. Now it is deauthing. It will disconnect all the networks in the vicinity, whichever is connected to the Wi-Fi. And once the handshake is done, it will just take about five seconds to crack the password. All right, so as you can see, the handshake was captured. That means it successfully deauthed the network. And then when people started to reconnect, it captured the handshake. It is trying out all kinds of passwords right here. and there are millions of passwords and if you don't have a powerful GPU or CPU, it will take a lot of time, but I have selected whatever password I want in, yeah. So right here, as you can see, we got the Wi-Fi key or the WPA key out of my Wi-Fi network. You can also do this via the terminal as I told you earlier. So if you want that video in which we break down every single process and do it with different tools, that will take a lot of time. If you want that video, just put it down in the comment section below and I'll definitely make it for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button down there. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.